my main motivation for running, I would say it's um, all of the people, friends that, that know me. There's too many people that um, count on me or that cheer for me. That it's, it's for me, it's hard to give up um, and to just throw in the towel and quit when I know that there's so many friends, uh, high school coaches, coaches now, uh, teammates, uh, people back home that are cheering for me, wanting the best for me, um, knowing that, knowing that there's people who, who are looking out for me, um, that's my motivation. I, I can't just simply say, oh, this is too hard, or oh, I'm gonna drop out of this race because they're always at the back of my mind. And it's like, well, they're, they're out there cheering for me, so I better do my best. Can't let them down. I mostly say I, I enjoy the team aspect, being with the group of uh, people. Um, I like that a lot. Running itself, um, I like that feeling, the adrenaline that I get when I step at a, at a starting line. Um, and that feeling, um, that some people call it runner side. Uh, I get that uh, often, and when I get that feeling, I feel like, like I'm a giant and I can't be stopped. Running is something that shows your, your hard work. And when you work hard, you show it on the, on the track. The things that I've done to get to the point where I am, um, a lot of it is trust in my training, trust in my coach. Uh, I know he says to be patient a lot with workouts, with training, um, whenever I have injuries. And, and it's especially hard to be patient when there's injuries or when I'm feeling good at the beginning of the season and he's telling me that we want that feeling at the end of the season, so to be patient. I would also say that you have to be able to commit uh, to running. Running is a year-round sport and you can't go an entire summer or entire winter break without running, without doing something else because um, it's not going to help you improve much during track or during cross-country season. So with that I would say that the big things is trust the process, be patient, um, be disciplined and have that motivation, have that something that, that drives you forward, that wants you to want to get better, that little fire inside of you that, you know, when things start to get hard, you can say, it's not just for me, it's for someone else, or whatever your motivation may be, to help you through those, um, through those rough days. In high school, I was uh, very happy, very proud when I made it to state and knowing that I got another chance to run. Um, I was all state in high school as well. Uh, that was something that was very, very big for me and for my coaches. It was a very happy moment, very um, proud moment for, for me, for myself, knowing that, that I achieved such a thing. I guess being an All-American too, um, that was uh, a goal of mine from the moment I, I got to college um, and knowing that, that I achieved it, that I'm an All-American in cross country, that's a very proud moment for, for myself. Uh, my junior year, I was part of the team that uh, made it to nationals for the first time in, in the program's history. So that was a very happy moment for us. I was very proud of that. Being part of that team, that atmosphere, that contribution, that you know, knowing that I work hard for something big, and just something bigger than just myself, um, that's one of the moments that I'm probably never gonna forget. Uh, running has become um, a part of my life that I don't think I see myself living without. Yeah. It's just the norm for me now. So that that I will continue to do.